Greetings and happy Thursday. Jeremy Wilson here with Russ Lyons, Sotheby's International Realty. So today is April the 30th. I hope this message finds everybody well, but the reason why I mentioned the date is because what we're going to review here is time sensitive. Um, as you can imagine, the trends and uh, market conditions are, are changing relatively frequently. And I wanted to give you a quick informal update. It's still gonna be a couple of weeks before I get you my normal uh, monthly update through the Trusted Advisor University. Um, so just wanted to throw some numbers out there right now. So what we're looking at here, uh, first and foremost, the information is coming from the Cromford Report, um, which is an awesome service provided exclusively to uh, its subscribers who consist of uh, realtors who are members of Armless. Um, so this information is pretty exclusive and it's going to be hard to find uh, the quality of information uh, that you would find here anywhere else. So there you go. Now. Uh, one question we're getting a lot of right now is what we're anticipating happening with uh, market values, home values, um, given the uh, distressed economic conditions that we're uh, getting into right now. And uh, so looking at the data, what we've got here is sales volume measured year over year. And the blue line represents 2020, whereas the green line is 2019. And as you can see year to date, um, we are actually still ahead of last year by a little over uh, 3% at this point in time. Now, now the small caveat here is that um, this volume that we're looking at is indicative of contracts that were written several weeks ago, so three, four, five weeks ago um, prior to COVID taking over or at, the, at least at the very beginning of that. So it's still going to be a couple of weeks till we understand uh, the specific impact, um, which means do we anticipate an adjustment in this trend? Absolutely. Um, that's uh, inevitable, uh, but we also, this combined with other trends that we're seeing lead us to believe and hope um, that things are perhaps already getting better, uh, but long-term they, they should pick up where, where things left off. So the next slide that we're looking at um, gives us a little bit more data in real time, and these are properties going under contract. So here too in the dark green, you see 2020 uh, over 2019, up until uh, about five or six weeks ago when everything started and then obviously things slowed down a little bit here uh, but what is very interesting and encouraging uh, is here this positive trend right here so week over week we're actually starting to see things come back um, now it's just a, a just a small sampling but it's still a very positive indicator and this indicator combined with what we're seeing out in the field so for example we're still seeing uh, frequent multiple offer situations uh, listings are still getting sold very quickly they're usually on market for only a few weeks if not less time um, and there's still a healthy amount of buyer demand so things are still moving along albeit a little bit slower than they were um, but all of that combined tells us that um, we're hopeful that this positive trend will continue. Of course, there are still many unknowns, um, but should it continue then, of course, um, that would indicate that we have actually reached the bottom and perhaps are on our way to recovering in terms of you know, the market conditions here with the local real estate market. So there you have it. If you have any questions, we've got our contact info down here. Otherwise, um, stay tuned for another update coming soon.